All right, this is the chart on Marshall and McLennan. And I'll be honest, I never heard of the company until I came across an article where Warren Buffett sold shares in the company. So before we get into the analysis, let's look at this article. It is coming from The Motley Fool. Warren Buffett just sold the rest of his stake in this dividend stock should you follow the lead. So Warren Buffett has proven to be one of the best investors ever. He just celebrated a birthday this past week. Since taking over as chief executive officer at Berkshire in 65, Buffett has delivered returns of 20% compounded annually. Put differently, if you had invested $1,000 in the company, when Buffett took over, that investment would be worth, wow, $3.8 billion uh, million dollars at the end of last year. Berkshire completely closed out of three of his holdings in the second quarter, and one stock in that group was Marsh and McLennan. Berkshire first bought the insurance broker in the fourth quarter of 2020. Marsh and McLennan advises companies on managing risk and connects them with insurers to help mitigate them. It also advises companies on corporate strategy, investments, and workplace issues. The past few years have been great for the company's brokerage business, which earns commissions when it refers customers to an insurer. According to its Marsh Global Market Index, global insurance prices have risen for 23 consecutive quarters. As insurance prices rise, so do Marsh Marsh's earnings. So far this year, the company's risk and insurance service revenue had increased 11% from the same period last year and was the key to the company's 8% total revenue growth. Again, Berkshire first acquired shares in the company in the fourth quarter of 2020 and began trimming its positions throughout 2021, but continued to hold a portion of it until the most recent quarter. From the end of 2020 to the end of this year's second quarter, Marsh and McLennan's stock rose 60% and proved to be another solid Buffett investment. Marsh and McLennan has become slightly more expensive since Buffett's first purchase. At the end of 2020, the company traded at about three and a half times sales. However, today it sells at 4.5 times sales, its highest valuation during the past decade. As far as Marsh and Lennon goes, the company has posted steady growth for years, currently has a 1.4 dividend yield, and has raised its payout for 14 years. So while Berkshire trimmed its stake in the company, Marsh and McLennan remains a solid s stock to hold in the long term. And you can s agree with that based on the monthly chart, right? It's just been in a, just an uptrend. Yeah, you had this pandemic dip and when the helicopter money ended you know price was range bound but price is breaking out once again so a couple of levels of interest right this is uh, what we call a rally base and then rally out prices came and dipped its toe in the water in this case in the zone before pulling away and we have a little another area right here at the uh, 187 level alright let's go down to the weekly chart And again, price was range bound, but then broke out. And if you don't know how to read price action, just follow the moving averages. Again, sideways for about 18 months and then started trending up. Although lagging indicators, nevertheless, kind of tells you where price is heading next. Let's go down to the daily chart. So here was a great 
setup. So on Monday, priced close within this band at the say 194 level and then on no, that was Friday excuse me then on Monday we had a gap higher and the candle closed green now here was a setup this was a resistance right price opened higher went down to that resistance which became support level and then close the day higher that was the trade setup now what's gonna happen next I don't know <laughs> um, price gapped higher went up to go down and then on Thursday price gapped up only to go down so this is weakness could we retest the support resistance band at 194 most certainly can we go lower or can price continue to be range bound until the moving averages catch up certainly but this was the setup don't see anything at the moment Actually, the best level to go long is if price can pull back down to this monthly buy area. That would be the best level to go long. Aggressive traders, potentially you can go long if price retests this band. But again, that's aggressive. In any event, now we know why Buffett sold. He got in low and he sold high. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. Like the video.